Strength, speed, invisibility, flight, and superpowers are as vast and varied as the people who created them, but it's also what's left us wanting our superpowers of our own. And what if I told you they may be closer than you think? I'm Bob from World 5 List. Join me as I tell you about 10 superpowers that you can get right now. Number 10. Telekinesis. Now, it may seem odd that arguably one of the most beneficial superpowers is so low on my list, but it's going to make sense before long. Telekinesis is known as the ability to move things with your mind. Seen by such comic book characters as Jean Grey and Professor X, and the more strong your mind is, the more control that you have over your power and the more you can lift. Now there's no doubt it would be great to bring an object to you or to get an object to do something without having to do any work, but there is a science out there that now does use the power of the mind to move certain things, but a computer is also required. It's called BCI or Body to Computer Interface, and right now it's being used on the paralyzed so that people with disabilities can move around without guidance. All they need is a few interfaces. Yeah, technically this is a more limited superpower at the present time, which is why it's so low on my list, but the potential is there to grow the practice, so you soon may be able to get that remote control without having to get off the couch, or you could even move the couch to the remote. It's your call, really. Number 9. Immunity to Pain now another interesting one, but also one that's dangerous in its own right, is not being able to feel pain. And you may think, why would I want such a thing? Well, when your body feels pain, it doesn't just affect your body, it affects your mind and your emotional state. You have to react to the pain or focus to block it out. And if you don't have to do that, you're going to be in a much better place should you be in trouble. Recent takes on this superpower include Ajax from Deadpool and Samson from Arrow Season 5. Both were able not to feel pain and thus were able to push their bodies to extreme limits. As far as how you can get this superpower, it's actually a disease called congenial insensitivity to pain, which literally means your body overproduces the endorphins that help you to numb it out. Now before you begin asking for the superpower, know this, there's a danger in not feeling pain. That's because you feel invincible when you're really not, and people who suffer from this disease often have bit off parts of their own body, like their tongues or fingers, because they didn't feel the pain of doing the action. Number 8. An Iron Suit if there's one thing that comics have taught us over the years, it's that you don't need to have real superpowers to be a superhero. Characters like Batman and Wildcat and even Iron Man prove that if you have the skills and the cash, you can do whatever's necessary to get the job done. Of those three, Iron Man has one of the most desired, quote, superpowers in the form of his Iron Man suit. Regardless of the version or the weaponry that goes with it and its capabilities, everyone wants the feeling of flying and going into battle in their own customized suit. Just imagine being able to boost your strength many times over through the suit, blasting off into the sky, or just blasting away anything that gets in your way. Plus, you have an AI companion, so that's a bonus. As it turns out though, it's actually closer than you think. Japan has developed the HAL-5. It's an exoskeleton, meaning you wear it on the outside of your body, that can do some pretty incredible things. It's meant for lower tier things like working in a factory or helping out with disasters, and it obviously doesn't have the ability to fly yet. But it is a working suit, and with each advancement in technology, it's even going to get better. Number 7. Wall Crawling Spider-Man may be one of the most popular superhero characters of all time, and probably because he's beloved for many of his powers. One of the biggest one being wall crawling. Now while it's true that it isn't the coolest of Spidey's powers, it really can't be ignored. For it's more than just wall crawling, Spider-Man can essentially stick to just about any solid surface, which is incredibly handy, and many in the real world agree with that assessment, because they've made prototype gloves and other devices that do exactly that. In fact, the idea has become so appealing that DARPA apparently has a device that's going to let you climb up walls. 
It's pretty cumbersome, but it is a beginning. And moreover, there are two different theories on how you can improve the process. Some people use a nanotube technology and think it's the way to go, as it'll hook into the thing that you're connected to on a molecular level. While others feel that a special kind of glue is the best way, as you're literally going to stick to the surface. Either way you slice it, we're well on our way to being our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Number 6. Bulletproof But before I move on to being able to catch bullets, why don't you subscribe? It'll bring you more great videos like this one in the future. Today's world is violent, massively violent in fact, and one of the biggest perpetrators of this violence is people with guns. Many people fear being shot, so you wouldn't exactly be laughed at for wanting to be bulletproof. There are a lot of characters that are bulletproof for one reason or another. Superman because of his connection to the sun, Luke Cage is legendary for his whole body being bulletproof because of an accident, but what about the common man? What can we do to be bulletproof? Well, the obvious answer is to get a bulletproof vest, but obviously that raises problems because you can't wear it all the time. Believe it or not, there is a company in Colombia that makes bulletproof clothing. It's actually really clever if you think about it, because you can now be bulletproof without drawing any attention to yourself, as long as whoever's trying to shoot you aims for your body and not your head. I'd take that bet with bullets flying. Naturally, there are other options that include a flexible body armor that's used by soldiers around the world, but either way, while you'll never have full protection, it'll be nice to have at least a little. Number 5. The Power of Healing Made most famous perhaps by Wolverine, having a healing factor is going to be dramatically epic. Get a cut? Well, it'll be healed up in no time get stabbed, the wound is going to seal itself. In theory, your body could heal itself so completely that you could live forever, just like Wolverine. And unsurprisingly, people have been trying to develop a way of self-healing for a long time, and it's interesting for sure. Now apparently, pharmaceutical companies are working hard on a self-healing drug. We're able to fix up small cuts and even gashes, but the bigger the problem gets, the more the need to find something like this is in the cards. In theory, it could even help those in dire conditions who don't have the healing factor in them. There are many different variations on how it can be done. Some believe in nanomachines, while others, well, they think that using the body's own system is going to help make healing go that much faster. Number 4. Invisibility now when people ask each other what superpower they want, invisibility is often near the top, and it's not really hard to see why. Get it? Get what I did there? <laughs> see? And it can also be used in your everyday life. It makes perfect sense why you'd want it. And so are we all that close to it? Well, actually yes, certain variations of invisibility are available right now. There's a cloaking device that can actually shield items from view, and it does so by making sure that the light of the world, or other various objects, bounces off the object in such a way that it renders it invisible. When you enter into a dark room, you don't see anything, right? That's because the little light that's within the room doesn't let you visualize it. And the same principle applies here. However, the cloak that I mentioned does have a key flaw, one that bends the law of physics. If you move, light has to bounce off of you in such a way that your form is revealed. Light had to bend or bounce off of something, right? A plus to it though is that the cloak is apparently made of silk, which is very fancy and also very soft. Number 3. Super Speed Another one of the holy grail superpowers is super speed. I mean, come on, The Flash, Quicksilver, Jay Garrick and more? I mean, why wouldn't you want super speed? All of these characters have wielded speed for all sorts of great things and bad things, but that's besides the point. Anyway, various governments are working hard to try and make their next soldiers even faster and stronger, which is why this superpower is technically available now. There's an exoskeleton-like object that can let a person run farther and jump higher. And there's also a jetpack of sorts to help the runner not just get faster, but also not tire out while doing it. No, I bet you forgot about how you get tired when you run. This special suit will actually deny that, which just shows you how well that it's constructed. 
Still, there's no way at the present time to go the kind of speeds that Flash or Quicksilver does, though we can hope for the future, right? Number 2. Super Strength The other major Holy Grail superpower is, of course, Super Strength. Being able to lift up cars with one hand or punch through solid stone without a scratch, it's very pleasing and intriguing, even though some of us would just want to be the Hulk so we could smash things. <laughs> not me, though. Definitely not me, you know. So, where do we get the special superpower anyways? Well, like many of the ones on my list, you have options. First, there's something that you can make stronger on your own. It's called adrenaline. The special chemical that's inside of you gives you enhanced strength, speed, and reflexes, and a whole lot more. In one of the most famous cases of adrenaline ever, a lady moved her car because it was pinching her child. However, for those who don't want to test how your adrenaline's going to hold up, there's other options. Currently on the market, there are exoskeletons that help in moving things around, and they can be quite efficient in getting those things done, though they are a little bit flashy. If you're looking to be Superman, though, a man with so much power he doesn't even know what to do with it, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Number 1. Flight out of all the superpowers, the one that ranks highest in the polls is flight. So many heroes and villains and characters fly that there's no time to run them all down. However, the appeal of the power is worth talking about. Now imagine being able to soar into the skies, above the ground, and over the seas, going just about anywhere you wanted to. And it is possible, scarily possible in fact, but practically it's always been an issue. That's because jetpacks and rocket packs have been around for decades, and each attempt with them aims to bring us that much closer to where every man, woman, and child has one. I predict, however, they'll be the new cell phone craze in a number of years. There are numerous versions and prototypes, and they're all owned by the government, more or less. Oh, and as Mythbusters said, there's no backup, so feel free to stay on the ground for a little bit, okay? Thanks for watching. Which of the superpowers would you like to have? Or do you want one that I didn't mention? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Leave a like on this video, and I'll see you next time.